We are gonna do a PSA and then we are gonna do a reading. For anybody out there that is struggling, for anybody that is having a difficult time, if you're having a difficult day, you feel like you're hitting a low spot, a low patch, a dip in the energy, anything like that, don't get down on yourself. It is totally normal. Also, it doesn't mean that you're not doing the work just because you may be hitting a dip in the energy. The thing is that if we were high, vibrationally speaking, all the time, would we even be in these bodies to begin with? It's normal to have the fluctuations. It's normal to go up and go down and have the whole dance back and forth that you're doing. So allow it to be move with the flow of things. We're moving through some heavy, heavy energy right now. It's normal to be feeling the intensity and for it to be um, fluctuating, maybe a bit erratic. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm looking at a tower, but it seems more like something that maybe you're not expecting to happen i'm seeing a lot of pentacles also so this would have to do with things physically for you i want to see if this energy actually comes out though once we start this i'm looking at aquarius and i'm also seeing scorpio as well Okay, there's a decision that you need to make. You don't want to brush this off. This is something you really want to think about. This is not something to take lightly, but also you can take it lightly in the sense of getting back behind all of this. So it's something that you want to be mindful of because it may be an important decision. It may be a decision that possibly you've been putting off. Mm. Two of Swords is usually like, I know what I need to do, I just haven't done it yet. There's a lot of going back and forth here, I'm seeing. Kind of dancing. Could be waiting for something too, maybe the time's not right. You feel... Something feels like it's breaking apart. You could feel this internally. You could also feel this with somebody you're close with. Two of Swords, Judgment, Five of Wands, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles. There's an issue between you and someone or you and yourself because this can be a part of yourself that's like, hey, pay attention to me. Hey, take care of me. And you haven't been. This can also be somebody around you that there's some sort of issue with like expectations or values. I'm also here in confrontation. So maybe you actually had an explicit confrontation with this person. For some of you, it's someone that you work with. Feels like something, you figuring out what you want to do about something that doesn't feel cool between you and someone else. Essentially. Like maybe whether or not you want to move on from a situation. It can be like whether or not you're ready to move on. But this can be taken 
a few different ways, right? It's like, you could move on from this situation and be like, I'm not going to hold a grudge against you anymore. It's water under the bridge. Or this can be something where you're like, I don't want to be around this person anymore. You have to decide for you. It seems like this comes down to what you feel like is fair as far as how you want to be treated by the people that you are sharing your energy with. Because I'm seeing you working on not holding on to things that bring chaos and animosity into your life. And if you're stagnating on feelings, it may be something that you feel like is kind of weighing you down at this point. So it's a decision now looking like, do I want to stay or do I want to go? Also, is this something that I can work through and still remain around this person? Or is this something that I can't let go of? And I need to just move on from it. Like, it may be something that you feel too triggered by. I'm getting confirmation of that. So, it looks like that's what's being considered here within the situation. Also, too, relationships fluctuate. It's like, it really is like a dance with people. Sometimes you go into it and you guys want to do the same dance together and you guys make perfect partners Then other times it's like one person doesn't want to dance Maybe the other person does or you guys are like into two different types of dances now And it's not working for you guys to work together. Sometimes you have mismatched Dancing that can still somehow be compatible with one another, you know But right now there's friction and something that needs to be worked out because you don't want to be putting yourself in a spot where you feel like you're not being treated you're not being treated um how you want to be treated because you have a preference here six of pentacles is like i have an idea of what that looks like to me of how i want to be treated or how i want things go or to go between the two of us how i want the relationship to go so funny wow Okay, so in the beginning, when I was looking at the cards, I was seeing Aquarius and Scorpio. We have Pluto, which rules Scorpio, one of the co-rulers, and we have Aquarius here. So there may be something going on with Pluto or with Scorpio and also with Aquarius. Okay. Hmm. You may be leaving something... In the hopes of moving towards, you may be leaving something that feels like too difficult or maybe it's like too hard to make it work right now and moving towards something else that you want to move towards that's like more smooth and maybe feels more in alignment for you right now. I want to get more on this. I will say this too, for some of you, you see a very particular direction for yourself and that could have been why an argument started with someone like somebody that you're close with they may not really understand what you're doing or where you're going or this vision you have for yourself but you may try to resolve things with this person through a conversation and letting them know it's kind of like i'm seeing something like this I know that we're not seeing eye to eye, but I care about you. You're somebody that I care about. I want to be close with. These are my expectations. These are my boundaries. I'm seeing something like that here between you and this person. Because I'm seeing you be in a spot where you're like trying to kind of transcend these issues that maybe you feel don't need to be happening anymore. It does look like the energy that's more associated with the Aquarian energy would be the one sending the message. Remember, two energies can be reversed. Also, we all have Aquarius somewhere in our chart. We all have Uranus in our chart. But yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you get to a spot where it almost looks like you've been even cleansed of something. Again, like this is where you can... Even if you're like, I'm not an Aquarius, you may identify with this Aquarian energy because it's about the archetype of energy. It's not about someone needing to be 
specifically an Aquarius in some sort of placement, you know. So you may have done something now where you were able to kind of like get away from a situation, it seems like. Like this is a leaving, a leaving that has happened for you to get to this place where you feel more like yourself and more like the pressure is sort of off because there's even a letting go and I do get the feeling of a cleansing energy here so you may feel like you kind of leveled out in a way that you needed to or you reevaluated your priorities even and now you're like maybe I should send them a message I feel like that would be helpful I feel like that would be helpful to our relationship dynamic and maybe this is going to give us the opportunity to see if we really can give each other what we need in this instance. You also, this will just be a confirmation for you. You already know that that would be a helpful thing to do because intuitively you feel like that's the thing to do with this person. But yeah, either way, a decision needs to be made about what you want to do here and if you feel like this can connect with your path or if this is just something that's not going to work out. So there's some type of argument, disagreement, conflict, confrontation, something like that where things don't feel at peace between you and this person. One person messages the other and is like, hey, remember we used to get along so well. I care about our relationship. Um, it's something that matters to me. And then I'm seeing there be like this constructive, like we need to talk about expectations so both of us can be on the same page. And feel like we're being treated how we want to be treated. So it, it seems like trying to remedy something maybe before you like give up on it or mm, I don't want to say give up. It's like before you kind of rule out like whether or not this is an, in alignment for you anymore. Because sometimes also we outgrow relationships and that's also something naturally that happens too. Like, we have some preferences sometimes, then other times we have different preferences. We make room for other things. Sometimes we hold on to other things. It's all just ever-evolving. Okay, what's the last card here? Whatever this conversation is that you're going to be discussing with this person about expectations, which it looks like it can be like emotional, energetic expectations, but maybe also things physically too about like the dynamic or the energy between you and this person, um, you want to be as grounded and like neutral and centered as possible when you have this conversation with them and also see how things go why i'm seeing this be the last card that came out is that like we don't know what the results are going to be you may talk to this person and be like hey these are my expectations these are my standards and have this person be like no can do you know and you want to be in a space where you're like okay then that's what i needed to know and it's not going to work between us also, it could go the other way as well. Like, you could say what you need to say here and have the person be like, you know what, that really works for me and I'm glad that you communicated that and now I know what the expectations are. And these are my expectations, you know? And, and then if that works for you, then everything's cool between you guys again. But yeah, King of Cups is like, regardless of the outcome of how this goes, Try your best to stay grounded and be in flow with it again, no matter which way it goes. Kind of just like let it be as it is and know that's how it's meant to be. I'm looking at Pluto and Aquarius here. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.